questions for Coach? We've got the boom mics around the room. Please raise your hand. We'll take the first question in the back on four. Coach in the back, Arash Madani with Sportsnet. Danny Green said uh, before the finals, people would stop him in the street and say, keep shooting, keep shooting, keep shooting. He said, I want to keep shooting. What did you get from him as a shooter tonight? Well, I think, I think um, Danny's, you know, buckets, I think, boosted our whole team's confidence because we're kind of used to most of the year relying on those. And I think, it, you know, when he banged a couple there and, and then he kind of kept it going, I think it was just a huge confidence boost all around. Over on the right side. <clears throat> Coach over here, uh, Dan Devine from The Ringer. Uh, I had a question. Um, Kyle Lowry, sort of a tough couple of games to start the series offensively with foul trouble. Did you have a sense that he was sort of going to be able to break out, and what did you see from him that led to his great performance tonight? Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I had a little talk with him before the game, and, and um, his, his kind of comments to me was he was going to let it rip tonight. So that was that was good. You saw him aggressive in transition, but but again, usually when he's when he's going good, it, it means he's hitting the paint. He's he's attacking off the screen and roll and, and really getting downhill. That's usually a sign that he's got a lot of his offensive game and confidence going. <clears throat> Steve in the back. Uh, Steve Simmons, Toronto Sun, Nick. Uh, Hi, Steve. Your starting lineup tonight had one of the most productive games I think you've probably had all season long. What was different about it almost seemed like five against one a lot of the game? Well, you know, our offense wasn't very good in game two, and we knew that was hurting our defense as well. We we tried to play with more pace up the court and we tried to play with more pace in the half court. I thought you just saw a lot more cutting and and passing, obviously thirty assists, you saw a lot more shots go in. That you know that helps, right? Um but I think uh, when we did struggle tonight to stretch offensively, we just bogged down a little bit and got the ball kept on the side, and we couldn't get it out of there a few times. But we just tried to keep it a little bit more in the middle of the floor, and we tried to hit the open man and get off it. I think we passed the ball a lot better tonight. Here in the third row. Hey, Coach, LA News Observer, Cameron Buford. Can you talk about your length and the size advantage that you had tonight and how that played to your advantage? Well, I think, you know, Serge Ibaka, um, had a great second half, especially he was he was active and was covering up a bunch of our mistakes or or not necessarily mistakes when we'd go put two guys on Curry. You know, they're they're they've been great at hurting us at the rim. And we just we, we tried to switch a couple matchups and get Surge back by the rim and and he once he gets a one or two, he starts getting a bunch of them. And he was, you know, then he gets on the glass, then he gets on the offensive side as well. And I thought that was a that was a big um boost to our team was his activity tonight. Standing on the left. <clears throat> Nick, Tim Reynolds with the AP over here on the side. I, I, he had 47, 8, and 7, but is this one of those nights where you look at what you guys did against Steph and say that you held him to 47? I mean, he had to work pretty much all of it. Were you happy with how? I mean, it's a yeah. huge number, obviously, but yeah. were you happy with the way you guys defended him? I, I don't, I mean, listen, we, we were trying to play as as straight up as we could. You know, we, we, we wanted to get back to doing you know, what we normally do. Um, we didn't do anything really early in the game other than just try to play him. You know, we had, he had a ton in the first half. We tried to up our, up our presence on him a little bit with some double teams. Um, but, you know, I don't, it doesn't really matter, right? I, don't, I mean, I don't really, all that matters, my, my dad used to tell me the stats don't matter, just the final score. So we'll just, we'll just take the win, be, be thankful for that. Mark in the third row. Nick, Mark Schwartz, CSPN. What prompted your pregame talk with Kyle, and what do you think he got out of that talk? Well, it's, it's not like it's a 30-minute sit-down, right? It's pretty, pretty, pretty quick, right? And um, um, actually, one of the players had written that on the board, let it rip. On our, you know, we got all our stuff up there, and there was this little handwritten let it rip. And I went over and said, did you write that? And he goes, no, but that's what I'm thinking. And that, that's the extent of the talk. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. To, sorry. To, sorry. To, that, was, that was it. <clears throat> all right. Next question up here in the front. We got a microphone coming. Hey, Coach. Sandy Chandak with Yahoo Sports. With Clay being out tonight and the possibility of his return next game, and as well as KD's, how important was it for you guys to get this win tonight? 
Yeah, I mean, this, you can't you can't really worry about any of that stuff, right? Like like every one of these games is critical, and and I keep saying we've we've had a lot of this throughout the playoffs with with um, other teams, you know, guys out. We've had some guys out, etc. And you just five guys are going to be out there, right? And you and you can't really worry about that. Um, each game's critical, and the next one will be as critical as tonight's was, you know. So it's it's been like that all through the playoffs, and you know we just got to guard and play who's out there, and um, that's all we can do. Any final question? Last one in the middle, Eric. We'll get a microphone there. <clears throat> Uh, Eric Pingus, Basketball Insiders and Bleach Report. To that end, Coach, uh, do you think the team really understands how hard it is? I mean, even down towards the end of the game, they, you thought it was over and the Warriors kept coming. Do you think the team fully grasps what it takes to get a win out of this series? Well, I think our team plays hard, right? And I think we expect them to make runs and baskets. And, and um, you know, in this, in this game, in this day and age, leads go quickly and all those thing, kind of things. And... And I, I give our guys a lot of credit. I thought we answered a lot of runs, right, down to seven a bunch and came back and scored a bucket or hit a three or, or whatever. We, we, each time they chipped, we kind of answered back, and that's kind of what you got to do if you're going to keep your lead. Thank you, Coach. All right, thank you. <clears throat>